Hello folks, enter the Qualcomm Snapdragon Edge Gen 3, the company's latest top-tier chipset that will power devices like the Galaxy S24 Ultra. The generative AI revolution you've been expecting from 2024 Android flagships is here. The Qualcomm AI engine for the TSMC made 4 nanometer Snapdragon Edge Gen 3 was developed with singular focus on generative AI to bring new use cases to life. It supports multi-model generative AI models to deliver new experiences based on voice, text and image inputs. On device personalization gets a boost with up to 3.5x AI performance increase on the Qualcomm Sensor Hub. This means that assistants like Bixby and Google Assistant will be able to better utilize your preferences to provide better personalized responses. The improved Hexagon NPU boasts up to 98% faster performance as well. Qualcomm claims a 30% performance bump for the CPU alongside a 20% improvement in power efficiency. The Cryo CPU has one ARM Cortex X4 based Prime Core at up to 3.3 GHz, 100 MHz faster than last year's chipset. The 5 performance cores, that's one more than last year for those keeping count, at up to 3.2 GHz, and the two efficiency cores at 2.3 GHz are all between 400 and 300 MHz faster than the Snapdragon Edge Gen 2. Evidently, the new chipset packs a mean punch. Improving the gaming experience on mobile devices was another area of focus for Qualcomm with the Snapdragon Edge Gen 3. It claims that the updated Arduino GPU is 25% faster and equally as efficient. Hardware accelerated ray tracing, last year's edition, gets improved with global elimination and Unreal Engine 5 support. Mobile gamers will particularly appreciate the support for 240 FPS gaming. The Snapdragon Edge 3 also powers some creative AI camera tools, such as the ability to expand a photo beyond what was captured, generate backgrounds, and even remove objects from videos. Samsung's first 200 megapixels image sensor, optimized for Snapdragon, enables zoom any place. A feature that lets you capture multiple videos, track objects and zoom in 2x and 4x in 4K. General improvements to Qualcomm's cognitive ISP will make it possible to capture more detailed, accurate and vibrate photos and videos. Qualcomm has confirmed that a whole host of device partners will be using the Snapdragon Agent 3 in their flagship handsets. Samsung is missing from this list, but even as we know the Exynos chipset is making a return with the Galaxy S24 series, there is no cause for alarm. Some of you may recall that last year's announcement of the Snapdragon Edge Gen 2 didn't mention Samsung either. That's because Qualcomm announced a slightly overclocked Snapdragon Edge Gen 2 for Galaxy when Samsung unveiled the Galaxy S23 series in February this year. So while the company hasn't confirmed this yet, we'll likely see a Snapdragon Edge Gen 3 for Galaxy being unveiled just before the Galaxy S24's launch. That means there's a bit more power to be extracted from this chipset and Qualcomm will do so for the iteration that goes in Samsung's next generation generation flagship line. It's going to be an interesting matchup between the Snapdragon Asian 3 and the Exynos 2400, and so far, Qualcomm seems to have knocked it out of the park once again. It's no secret that Samsung wants to manufacture 3 nanometers chips next year and aims to be capable of 2 nanometers and 1.4 nanometers manufacturing in 2025 and 2027 respectively. But the company won't create its next in-house Exynos silicon on either one of those processes. The next-gen Exynos 2400, which is expected to power the Galaxy S24 flagship phones in many markets next year, is a 4 nanometers chip. And according to a new report from the Korean media, Samsung's first 3 nanometers based Exynos solution will power the next-generation Galaxy Watch. Whether this solution will be called Exynos W940 is unclear. Samsung smartwatches have used Exynos chips based on the 5 nanometers process since the Galaxy Watch 4 came out in 2021. The 5 nanometers Exynos W920 was upgraded to a 5 nanometers Exynos 930 when the Galaxy Watch 6 series was released earlier this year. The new chip has a higher frequency of 1.4 GHz, but it's not what most people would call a generational leap. A more significant upgrade will reportedly happen next year when the Galaxy Watch 7 series will hit the market, rocking some 
Samsung's first commercial 3 nanometers chip. The Galaxy Watch 7 series is expected to be unveiled at the second big unpacked event of 2024. The watches should be accompanied by Samsung's 2024 foldable phone lineup, which will likely be powered by the Snapdragon Agent 3. In theory, a 3 nanometer smartwatch chip could lead a massive energy efficiency gains, which would make a huge difference to the user experience for these wearable devices. Headways in battery life is something the Galaxy Watch series has struggled with in previous years. The upcoming Galaxy Watch 7 might represent the huge next step forward that smartwatch users have been hoping for. Anyway guys, I will keep you updated, so subscribe to the channel, thanks for watching, see you in the next one, good luck to all!